Okay, uh, planet Venus is there as usual. You can look for it if you want. What I want to talk about is not just planet Venus. You can go in the west, you see this star, which is the brightest, just at here. And uh, that's the planet, it doesn't twinkle or anything. What I want to talk is about this planet that we are living on, planet Earth. As you know, it has a core, which is outer part of it is liquid. And every, every liquid, which has free electrons, metallic liquid, which has free electrons in the in a sea of free electrons, all the metals are like that. That's the reason they are malleable. They can you can actually hammer them. Uh, when they move inside a magnetic, uh, uh, when they move, they create an electric current, and that electric current creates the magnetic field. Earth has a magnetic field, and uh, so uh, it deflects the solar wind. At the moment, the Earth magnetic field is going through uh, upheaval. It has passed thresholds uh, of magnetic activity in the past three days. And you may have had headaches over the past three days, some headaches. I'm not telling you this, what I'm saying is scientific or anything, but I noticed a lot of people that I have in contact with, they felt the same. They had headaches, strange headaches. Uh, is it related? I don't know. I'm not telling that this is scientific what I'm saying. But uh, think about it that uh, Earth magnetic field is reacting with the sun, sun's solar wind, uh, which is continuously charged particles coming from the sun toward us. Sun is losing mass through them. And when the Earth magnetic field deflects them, uh, they pass around us. When the Earth magnetic field, and that is the liquid core, uh, is behaving in an abhorrent way, a strange way, abnormal way in our understanding, then this deflection will change. We see auroras, patterns of the aurora. They deflect the solar particles and the charged particles, and we see lights in the sky. We call them aurora, northern lights. That shows what is going on inside our uh, Earth core. If you, uh, we know that, uh, of course, uh, uh, there are sus there are theories about the leukemia is affected by electric pylons. It's not proven, but there are there are suspicions about that. I wonder if this is can, can be applicable to the solar wind and the Earth magnetic field, affecting in a similar way. Probably not leukemia because all of us should have been having leukemia all over the planet Earth, but in a more subtle ways like headaches and such things. I don't know about this. Uh, you you have to you have to really take it with a large grain of salt, as they say. Not take it too seriously. But something to think about. Did you have headache recently, over the past three days since the of course since the start? of this week, Sundays, when Monday. Uh, I have a video about this. I'll just will upload it again so you can read and listen to that. And uh, there, in the meantime, enjoy the night of sky. Libraries are yet going on. In the midnight, you can see that. In the early morning hours, you can see planet uh, Jupiter, the giant gas, planet Mars. Saturn is also visible. We don't have the moon. moon is very young now. It's very thin crescent, almost... Uh, in front of the sun, a little bit lower, so you will not have a solar eclipse. But enjoy the night. You will have a, uh, some comets also. If you live in a very dark side, you can use binoculars to see them. Comet uh, Atlas is, is a little bit dimmer. Comet Panistar is getting brighter. Comet Swan is also getting brighter. So there's a lot to enjoy and look forward into. Astronomy is becoming a good pastime in this lockdown situation. And I hope you don't have a headache. Perfect geomagnetic activity has passed the threshold. This is affecting the auroras, which will affect the electrical systems. The level of activity is changing hour by hour. And so far it doesn't comply with the predictions. 
I will be keeping an eye on this system just to see what's going on next. Because it is very strange at this time of the year. Let me explain why this is strange. Earth of geomagnetic activity are controlled by two factors. One factor is the sunspot cycle and the number of the sunspots. The number of the sunspots follow a 11 year pattern, which means the number of the sunspots every 11 year will go from maximum to minimum. We are now at one of these periods of the minimum numbers of the sunspots. As you can see in this picture, there is zero numbers of the sunspots. Magnetic field of the Earth is the other factor affecting the geomagnetic activity. And this is caused by the outer core of the Earth, which is liquid iron. This liquid iron moves. This movement creates electrical currents. This current creates magnetic field. Because the Earth core is liquid, this magnetic field all the time is changing. Peaks and troughs form all the time at it, and magnetic field changes. These are affected by the cooling slabs which touch the outer core. We are trying to understand further what's going on. Because Earth magnetic field suddenly can shift poles. In north will become south. Strange. Watch this space and we will try to keep you updated.